Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to pause or delay Windows updates. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so we've all been there before. Windows update has come along and you've either gone to close down your PC and the Windows update has started, or you've had the creator's update, for instance, and you've lost a ton of files really really inconvenient or even maybe you're doing a screen capture and all of a sudden the pop-up in the window comes up saying we need to restart your computer so annoying surely there must be an easier way well there is and i'm going to show you how to delay your updates so let's go to the pc and i'll show you exactly how okay so here we are in front of the computer so let's now get right into it so the first thing to do is to click on the start bar and then from the start bar, click on the settings cog. From the settings cog, in your Windows settings section, choose update and security. Now, in the Windows update section, there's a few things we can change which actually will make life a little bit easier and possibly a little bit more secure on your system. So the first one we're gonna do is delivery optimization. Now, in delivery optimization, it gives the option to download Windows updates from other computers on your network or from the internet. Now really you should definitely have this turned off. If for any reason yours is like this with the section on, at the very minimum, make sure it says PCs on my local network. Essentially this still isn't a great idea. There could be people gaining access to your network that shouldn't be on it and it leaves things wide open. So best not to do it. And if yours is saying PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet, oh, no, that's a definite no, no. So let's just turn all that off. Windows downloads can do their own thing in their own time without interfering with any other computers. Okay, so that's that out of the way. Let's go to Windows Update now. Now in Windows Update, what we wanna do is click on Advanced Options. And in this section, we've got a whole load of settings that we can change and tweak to suit what we wanna do. For me personally, I've got the option here for give me updates for other Microsoft products when we update Windows. And this is fantastic for me because I run things like uh, Visual Basic and also things like Office, Outlook, all those kinds of things, which I would like to keep updated, so that's okay. Obviously, if you don't wanna keep those updated, then you can just change that checkbox to off. Now, update notifications. Now, this one can be a pain at the moment because I'm streaming this, I could get an update pop up at any time. So let's turn that off straight away. So now we won't get any notifications to say that the PC needs to restart. Now, this is another section which people aren't always aware of, pause updates. So in pausing updates, we've got options to temporarily pause updates from being installed on this device for up to 35 days. So this is actually pretty handy. If you've got some mission critical work and you're in a, some business environment or something like that, and you just don't want anything to go wrong with your PC for at least 35 days, then you can turn that on. Now updates will be paused now for 35 days from today's date. Now that's okay for a one time deal, but sometimes you wanna make things a little bit different. So what we do is we can choose when updates are installed. Now, I've got mine set to semi-annual channel targeted, so I get updates slightly quicker than the normal general public. But what you can do is set it to semi-annual channel. This will make sure that the updates that you get are actually the ones which are targeted for the mainstream users and are secure and less likely to destroy your system. Now, if that still isn't enough, you can go a little bit further down and you've got options for feature updates and quality updates. Now quality updates are things like bug fixes and security patches. Now for me personally, I would always leave these to be come on automatically immediately as soon as they're available. Yes, they can cause problems sometimes when they're not correctly written, but generally nine times out of 10, they are actually necessary and they're zero day fixes. So ideally you wanna keep these if possible. The other part, feature updates now these feature updates are the kind of biannual updates that windows does like the creator update or the fall updates these are the ones that generally tend to cause people more problems than anything else so if you don't want to be ahead of the curve and you want to take things a little bit steady and step back a little bit then you can change this to defer your update for a little while now you can do anything between maybe a week if you feel you're happy with a week so seven days or if you're really, really super cautious, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can choose for 365 days. So you can wait a whole year before you decide you're ready to take the plunge for the latest and greatest of Windows updates. So 
that pretty much wraps things up. So if you want to pause your updates or make sure that the updates are going to be okay and not trash your system, this is a good way of checking your settings to make sure you're not left completely wide open to these vulnerabilities and really unchecked updates. So there we go. There's a look at Windows updates and how to pause or defer some of the updates. Hopefully it's been useful to you. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, stick them in the section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.